Good lord. Credwitch's armed base is uh, significant. Never mind that. Hello there, Destroyer VO here, and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Today we'll be taking another look at the armed base mod, because apparently my last video, a lot of people have been commenting that they've been having issues. So, it's not my mod. I can't fix any technical issues with it. But I can give you some, I guess, advice for helping to troubleshoot it. So, let us take a standard, you know, just a tiger tank. Nothing too special. With the, yeah, that'll do. That's better. Okay, so, do you see at the bottom of my screen currently, it says press ALT to activate the turret. That is extremely important information. You press it, the turret turns, left click to fire, and right click for the machine gun if it has one. Let's try the Sherman, probably the same thing. Get in the tank. Press ALT, fires. Everything's good there. Let's try a modded tank. That's a ricochet. <laughs> There's just a shell stuck in there. And now we see what happens. Yeah, recent update basically means that heavy tank is actually effective. Let's get the uh, tiger tank again. And drive it through a minefield! That went about as well as one might expect. So, assuming that for whatever reason your tank turret is not working, which it appears to be working fine for me, I don't know why people seem to have problems with it. So, go to options, not that one, uh, then go to, I believe, controls, and look for the walk button. Walk, move slowly, left alt. If there is nothing here, you edit the key, press the key that you want to use, and it sets it. That's a more Gary's Mod thing than anything else. Assuming you can't do that, then I suggest you take a look at the list of mods and see if they have any known conflicts with the mod on the workshop. There are a couple, like a Gmod 
legs and a couple of other things that generally mess with camera. Or perspectives and that sort of thing. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I think that's it for this quick little video. If you're wondering about what this city is, it's called, I believe, RP Dead City or something? It's a nice map for tank combat, so I figured I'd show it off today. Anyway, that sh even though it is based in uh, the Stalker universe, it's got decent line, line of sight blocking buildings and nice central areas for decently open battles as well. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, oh yeah, Gredwitch is... Uh, Red Rich's shit is still awesome. I suggest you get it. Because, you know, this exists. Uh, which one was it? Flaming Panzer. If you do not want a flamethrower tank, what is wrong with you? Flamethrower tank is exceedingly effective. As I will now demonstrate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh no, there appears to be a line of infantry up ahead. We have a tank. Infantry versus flamethrower tank. What did you expect? Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. There's more random videos on my channel, some helpful like this one, others like a Space Engineers series that I'm currently doing. It's kind of, uh, it's a bit different to what you would normally expect for just a straight survival series. I am trying to have sort of, I guess, scripted events happening, such as, oh, there is... That's spoilers. That's spoilers, but it's already happened, so I suppose you would know about it if you actually watch the series. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and if you're interested in other videos I make, check out my channel. I will see you there.